purely your practice okay so what are your options friends according to me i think it should be b i think it should be b or a okay one of one of you pick b no no two options okay one one of option, one. please okay. so <laughs> okay. b for yeah. me i'm not sure Okay, you picked B, and uh, Drishti, what did you pick? Drishti picked B. I also picked B. Because you know, I find it super. <laughs> you also picked. Uh, sorry, not Drishti. Ah, uh, Priyanka picked B. Okay. Ah, uh, yo, yo, audio was little distracted. All right, fine. So you picked B as well, and Sandeep, Sandeepan. uh so maybe uh, option uh option e sorry option e okay all right now remember every option has 20% weightage so option a is exactly <coughs> the option which simulates the underlying yeah. portion okay so it doesn't mean that a cannot be the right answer okay Uh, don't worry now i'm not telling you that a was the answer right i'm just saying a can also be the answer uh, whenever we are dealing with that particular uh, question okay and uh, b c d and e now i just want to change it to uh, d maybe as i told you we cannot take more than a minute okay delta yeah you said delta yes yes in delta yeah option d or b P P for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you wanted to change a D for delta, right? Yeah. You are you are on yeah. mute. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. I was waiting for the. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Fine. So first, um, if you look at this particular question. now this particular question reminds reminds us uh, to have uh, one thing which we already knew if i say though blah 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 comma and blah 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 so this part after though and after this part so let me give you a simple example though i worked hard i could not succeed okay so this though is a contrast trigger now the moment we look at this contrast triggers the first part if this first part is a positive statement the second part would be negative all right yeah that's what we know and we also know that after though there is one subject all right for this part we technically i mean uh, this becomes jargon so the verbal jargon would be this part is the depending clause and this part is a main clause okay so the main clause would have its own subject all right i did not succeed or whatever so this part in this part we need to observe what is the subject okay now why do i know or why should i know what is the subject because based on the subject we have to identify what verb it takes okay all right yeah so now what do you think is the subject i'll i'll help you because three of you picked three different answers or oh, no two of you picked one answer and uh, one of you picked another answer and if i ask uh, mr sainath sir he might pick other option okay so there is that thing because when you don't prepare uh, according to the verbal part you might pick something right but once you all know how this part and work and you would also think in the same manner the way the test maker prepares the question okay so what is the subject friends in the second part of the main clause in the main clause what is the subject the proportion ha ah, very good the proportion is the subject okay so is the proportion singular or plural singular okay the proportion is singular now a singular subject will it take singular verb or plural verb singular obviously so now where is that particular verb so in this particular part what happened 
the author gave all the unnecessary words like this judges partners at a law firm law firms who are women okay so these things i am using the red marker to tell you that they are unnecessary now whenever you see a sentence structure whatever precedes of is obviously the main subject okay now if we consider judges and partners just like boys and girls you would obviously pick are mm. or were but that is not the case here it's a proportion which is the subject of the sentence so when i see the proportion i should obviously pick the verb to be singular so have is in correct so always focus on the first words this is a tip okay middle words and last words now when you focus on these three areas you can easily pick up the option all right so what are the verbs we find in different options we have have versus has as yeah. these two observations yeah we have have versus has and uh, let's go back to the thing whatever we know though when i have though i would never go with but here because there is always one contrast trigger in the main main sentence we will not have any contrast triggers because there is already one here okay so we got to eliminate options with but or anything as such so yet and yet sandeepan wrong so we would not, yeah so we would not pick these d and d okay e should be the option yeah so we have we should eliminate the options with have as well because this would not work because we know that the proportion is singular it takes has so the option with has is c all right yeah now this question uh, is a question which is prepared on the base of the sentence structure as well as the subject verb agreement rule so what the test maker uh, he does is he actually picks up different errors which are tested on the gmat sentence correction and then he'll apply those errors in a 